Hi, my name is Luyan de Barnabas Fatuse. I'm originally born in Southern Bay. Currently, I'm residing in Oldsworth. While I'm doing uh, my degree, I have a BCom accounting degree, which I studied from University of the Western Cape. I went to school from a public primary school as well as a public um, secondary school. By God's grace, I was able to study further at University of Western Cape through my gift. Currently, what I have done um, when I finished my study, I have realized to say when I when you're university, you experiencing you are a mix from children coming from other sea schools, children coming from private schools, and children coming from public schools. Many times now, times we used to do uh, mathematics in higher grades and, and, and mathematics in standard grade. I realized in my time, I was the only student who was doing um, accounting and mathematics in higher grade. And sometimes you find that um, we are, there was a mixture between the both um, students who do standard grade and higher grade. When it came to my time, the teacher would only focused about um, five or ten minutes of the session of 15 minutes to upon me. It was neglected. But the way you find in Model C schools, I mean, there's a separation between those who do standard grade and those who do higher grade. So the children now have more a added advantage compared to, um, to public schools, to the shortcomings of the public schools. But I went to university, I realized um, there's more to do where there was a backlog. Compare yourself with children from what seen in private schools. They had an advantage upon that. But through hard work, I was able to endure and persevere and still um, come out to with my degree. And because of that reason, because sometimes you find in the Morrissey and private schools, you find the people who, who um, teach mathematics and accounting, they're experts in the field. They either have an honors degree, um, a master's degree in mathematics or accounting. So because of private schools or, or modesty schools, they're able to attract the best skills that they got. And sometimes in the, in the public schools, you find a teacher who's supposed to, um, who's doing um, management or economics, also supposed to do accounting at the guard, who's not the have the experts in the field of the guard. And I had a desire to say that one day if I'm finishing my degree, I, 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 I want to contribute back to my community, to disadvantaged community, so able to assist public schools. When I finished my degree in 2005, I went back to my local community and I started to establish an NGO called the Mustard Youth Foundation. It has to do with mustard seed. They say that the seed is small, but in the seed, when it grows, can be a, it can be a biggest um, tree and able to provide for many. I started to do that. I approached my my principal in the, and say, I'm willing to assist them I mean, to strengthen um, the teachers, to help them, to be a helping hand with their uh, accounting and mathematics, uh, especially from grade um, 12 learners. So we started, I mean, they accepted my assistance and we start to do the program um, like that but I started I started to realize so over the years to say when the children there was a, a, a downward um, in children I mean and rolling for the when the system changed from higher grade and standard grade to, to add a match literacy to match the children have a choice and many times I realized say the children no longer do match some um, pure match they do match literacy so you can never get them I mean was focus was upon grade 12 and I needed to change my strategy and I realized say and it was of the quality of education as well. It was also very poor. In the lives of find a child was great. I mean, eight. When I asked him to say, what is eight times six? A child didn't know what eight times six um, is. It's for, uh, 56. Uh, um, uh, sorry, um, eight times six is 48. Um, eight times seven is 56. And I say there's a greater problem. Because the Bible, I mean, you understand the concept. You can never build a house or without the concrete founda foundation. And I say, let us expand our program. And we start to do a program. We start our program and roll out more to assisting more in primary school level. We start to have a program from grade one to three, from grade four to seven, from from grade eight um, up until grade twelve. We start to expand our program because what we're trying to address the situation upon the foundation. Able because we start to realize if a child hates the, the subject of mathematics, a child will never able to enroll in that. The reason why for that there are subjects so maybe the child has the gifting to be an accountant or to be an engineer and a, a doctor, the child needs mathematics. You can never be accepted and at university level. Some of the problems we experience in the in this advanced communities when children cannot enroll for, for um, a doctor's degree or engineer accountancy, the problem lies not sometimes in high school, it lies at primary school level. When a child I um, mean has been stolen the, the love of the subject, um, you can never excel in something you don't love. Because I realized man sometimes children have a bad attitude towards the subject. And our role over the years some um, was able to do that. Our program was more to say we before we let the child assist them, we assist them freely. 
with um, med scum tutoring classes. We had the weekly program, but we first started to say, because we also rely on the children, their moral values, um, their moral fiber was not so good. Um, we, you know, we used the Bible studies like in the old system um, of education and used some I mean to strengthen the um, ethical values, moral values within the children, able to understand the giftings of the God, able to understand to because uh, why understand when we understand the concept to say that your gift or talent only contribute ten percent, but he, I mean it is the hard work, is the character of hard work, discipline, perseverance. I mean dedication towards putting the gift to good work and practicing mathematics and practicing accounting that will make you to excel and able to excel to get the A or B in the subject matter. So we realize we use that as a tool that we got. We also realize that some of the children so I believe in the time when where there's many children who get, I mean, children very young. You find a situation that some of the parents, some of the children in our program, they were staying with the grandparents. I mean, so the children that the mothers have neglected them, they're busy either in substance abuse, whether it's alcohol or, or drug, whether it's in Turkey, in the Tidigar, which I mean, or alcohol, severe alcohol abuse, which is they don't have time for these children. So the child needs someone. What we did after hours, we used to have programs about arts and sports programs, and we have competitions with the children to keep them busy um, whether uh, we have competitions are uh, uh, for singing or dancing as well as sport programs just to keep the children busy it's of no use children are, are doing arts and sports I don't remember my time I can remember right now um, 20 30 years back um, the trophy I received for, for being the best player in soccer I can still remember and remember very importantly I had many such um, um, certificates and trophies I mean over my lifespan whether it was primary school or high school but I, I mean but even um, I have many achievements, accolades, but there are other children which that trophy, certificate you gave them can only be the children's only highlight because why they're not so privileged to have many exposing things that you have. And our things was just to encourage to say, child, you can do better. You are much better. I think that was the thing upon them starting foundation to say, in your small, give respect of where you find yourself. And you can be someone of, uh, uh, um, to can make a change in your society. I can testify to you over the years. And through my program, um, there's about three um, persons to uh, um, planting the seed to assisting them in, in mathematics and accounting from uh, my hometown. They are now today chartered accountants by just planting a seed. I'm not saying it's me. We assisted to lift up the teachers. It's a collective effort in the regard. And this is our program we did. We also went at some point, we did the same thing. Everywhere I went, where it was in, in Worcester, I would always go out to the schools to ask how can I assist in the program. I mean, I also have this thing to say, we are many parts. So whether it's a school, whether it's the, I mean, the, um, ourselves as, as an NGO, the Mustafa Foundation and the parent. Because this three-party I mean, alliance is very important even for the success um, of the learning that we got. Also, we also have moved to Cape Town as well. The program was also done when I've moved to <coughs> Sorry, when I moved to Pernambuc Bay, I mean in Boston School, in the most impoverished um, area, we started to establish the same program which we have done in Salvana Bay, all over. We started to use the same program, able to be a blessing unto those people in Boston School, and also within the surround, with the Kwanatula, as well uh, um, as um, the, um, the communities in surround that needed assistance in accounting mathematics. So, and with our program, we just say, like, um, it's very important to focus artists upon those who can't afford our services. So I do have a business when I sometimes those who can afford my services to when they can pay for me for the God but it's a small amount of clientele to do so but it's a greater need of those who are who are live in poverty disadvantaged communities who can't afford the service to pay 200 rand per hour for that regard because they struggle upon how to put food upon the table and our role is just to reach out to make sure and some of you find that many of these children have a gift of God's respect of mankind God has blessed many of these children with a gift in accounting and mathematics but the promise like we we have also discovered in some public schools cause why because of the low amount of enrollment for for pure mathematics sometimes some school they have aborted to do real mathematics from grade 10 to 12 it means what there's the, the chances of a child who have a gift to be an accountant or a doctor engineer stolen because why if you only have a pure mathematics you can never enroll I mean in this institution in those fields I'm just saying we have to partner together to strengthen I mean these children um, our role is just to 
to uh, reach out more towards that. But I have done also during COVID because during the COVID restriction to be um, in in um, to do it um, on class environment, we started to use uh, um, to stream yard, to start to use Facebook and YouTube, able to do free um, tutoring, match tutoring um, classes upon whoever who needs assistance. But once again, we can only reach those who are able to afford the services uh, um, uh, where the data to so able to um, tune down to us uh, during those online teachings. And my intention is to reach out, maybe to uh, make to do these online videos and also to reach out, maybe to make copies of it on CDs uh, upon those children who can't afford it. And then maybe best schools so can afford it. But I think that's why partnership is very important. We are open um, for those partnerships and people say, look here, we want to assist you. We understand your good cause what you're doing that. We've been doing this um, since 2005 and we're doing, doing that. Um, and we our role, I'm saying, I want to be a blessing and use my gifts that God gave me to be a blessing unto other people. And especially those who are poor, who need assistance, who's praying to say, can someone just assist me? Um, let someone not judge me from the outward. There's something great inside of me that needs to be nurtured and, 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 and it needs to be built up for a greater cause. And my role, I mean, our NGO, the Mustafa Foundation, we just do that. And even Bosses Club, when we in Bosses Club, we also assisted out and yapping children also the same, um, having soccer because um, they, they like more soccer, having soccer tournaments, having trophies at the gun to keep youth busy. Sometimes we complain so much to say that youth, the young people today, they're useless um, at a young age, they're busy smoking or drinking. But the question is like, what are we doing to keep them busy? And what are we doing to, I mean, to plant a seed towards a destiny? There are children who come from, from broken families, so fatherless in the gun, but there's a greater gift within them. And then this is what we are, the Mustafa Foundation. We are about this. Our purpose is on redeem broken-hearted young people and bring them, um, restore their dignity, restore the gifting in them and the talents to be people of greater word. I think like this is who we are. Um, this is Lemma Start Foundation, and I'm the founder, Leon the Banas I'm coming, I'm coming from such an environment, but it doesn't mean like I forget where I come from. I want to contribute much more. I want to reach out much more, but I realize to say I'm only one person, but with many hands, we are able to do much more to be a blessing unto these poor the, the disadvantaged communities and able to assist public schools where they're struggling with the expertise um, able to assist each other um, on a higher level of mathematics and accounting um, I think my role I'm going to plan but you can assist be partner with us and be the one who water the seed so that seed in the child can grow and the child can stop be, be a product of imprisonment or of, of brothels or shabins and they can be a greater word and much greater word to um, the economy of South Africa and also be a blessing unto others. Be blessed. Thank you very much.